Hello YouTube, Happy New Year, uh, Happy 2014, and this is the Payne 975. I'm going to be bringing you an, another updated tutorial for installing your PlayStation 3 controller on the Windows. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, there was a lot of people in my last video prior to this that were having a bit more difficulty than I thought, uh, even though I went through step by step of what Scarlet Crush did on his post on the PCSX2 forms on how to install your uh, PS3 controller on Windows using his program but um, there has it has been updated since the last video so this video is going to show you how to do that um, now first thing you need to know is that this video is going to assume that you're coming off a fresh install of Windows and you haven't ever plugged in your PS3 controller or you've ever used Motion Enjoy or if you ever use the previous versions of uh, his Installer the scpdriver.exe. You've never used those on those computer on your uh, computer before, so this video is going to assume that. And if you have before, all you need to do is just remove the PS3 driver, <clears throat> PS3 controller driver from your uh, PC. You also need to uninstall the uh, SCP uh, driver package that you used before, and you also need to get rid of Motion Enjoy and, and the drivers that came with that as well. Um, to do that, I have videos uh, on how to remove Motion Enjoy, but if you have previously installed the SCP driver package, there's an easy uninstall button that you can uh, use when you double click scpdriver.exe and do that. And to uninstall your PS3 controller, you can just go to your device manager and uninstall the uh, controller from there. Now, uh, first things first. Uh, the two files that you'll need are going to be uh, the one that says download the latest version here and download the latest update here because we, uh, after the end of this we want to be running version 1.1.0.138 and in order to do that you're going to need the these two files that I just said. I'll have them linked in the description below. And so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download them and when you have them downloaded you'll have these two files right here and you're going to need an extracting program like 7-zip or WinZip. I have WinZip and I extract them and these two folders came when you extract them. I just extracted them to my desktop and ignore that. And these two folders came up so you have your update folder and you also have your uh, .136 folder here and in order to do the update all you need to do is just open the one point uh, .136 uh, base installation folder and open up the update folder and what I would do is just copy the uh, bin folder from uh, the 1.38 update and paste it onto the 1.36 version and it's going to ask if you want to overwrite that and hit yes and then it's going to ask if you want to conflict and just hit yes copy and replace and do this for the next 11 excuse me one complex and it's basically it that's how you update it um, now you don't really need that anymore but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, rename this folder to the updated version. That way I know I've updated already. So we 1.38. And I'm good to go. I don't think you need this little update folder anymore. Though. So you just delete that. And now you have your base installation right here. Uh, basically that was manually updating. That's what uh, updaters do, if you didn't know. But now that we have this, we can finally get started on installing your PS3 controller. But before that, you're going to need uh, these requirements right here. I'll have them listed in the description below. Please, please, please look at these uh, requirements before you ask any questions or to me or to Scarlet Crush on the PS2 emulator forms. You're going to need uh, Microsoft.net 4.0, the Visual C 2010 runtime, the latest DirectX runtime, uh, latest Xbox 360 controller drivers available. I'll have a link to that in the description below, or you can just Google it and download it real quick. Uh, a genuine PS3 controller. You can't have any fake brands or mad cats or any li anything like that. This is not going to work with uh, off-brand third-party controllers. 
So you need a genuine PS3 controller, one that came with your system, or you know the the really expensive fifty dollar ones that are directly from Sony. These are the only controllers that will work with this uh, installation. After that, you're going to need uh, ignore that because we're not going to do a Bluetooth yet, and you just need administrative rights on your PC. Uh, in order to do that, I would just make sure that you just right click on everything and run as an administ administrator right here. Um, now that we have all the requirements that we need, I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down here and it says new install. Oh, but before that, uh, on the 360 controller, the drivers, if you're running Windows 7, you want to uh, install the controller drivers before you do this. So right now will be a good time to do the 360 controller drivers. Uh, Vista, you want to do it afterwards, and supposedly this works on VC. So after, not PC, excuse me, uh, XP. So after you have done uh, installing SCP, gone through this process, then you want to uh, install the 360 controller drivers. In Windows 8 and 8.1, you don't need to download them. It's already included in that uh, system, so you don't have to worry about installing 360 controllers. Now that we have everything, the, all the prerequisites and stuff, now we can do a new install and get this working on our PC. Okay, first step on the new install would be to connect your dongle, ignore that because we're not doing the Bluetooth, and DS3 via USB and let Windows install its default drivers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Bottom right hand corner you're going to see installing device driver software. I'm going to go ahead and click that and see what's installing. It's going to say it's searching Windows update. Um, you can let it do that or you cannot let it do that. I'm going to go ahead and let that happen and I'm not going to um, cut anything out. And now it's installing driver software and it's going to say USB input device installed. And it's going to, it should say USB input device installed. It may vary. Um, if it does, I would go ahead and try to uninstall the driver and reinstall it, reinstall it again. That way you get something different. But on my computer, it says USB input device installed. It's ready to use. Okay, so that's step one. That is done. Uh, two, copy the archive to a temporary directory. Um, I'm going to use my desktop as a temporary directory, so uh, it's right there, ready to go. Step two is done. Um, right click on the archive and select properties. And it's telling us to unblock the button on step four. If the unblock button is displayed on the general tab, it's not. Oh, okay. okay. I, I see what it's doing. So when you download, it's going to ask. Uh, you, it's gonna step is gonna ask you the uh, to unblock the file from your system and make it safe I guess so I've already done that um, so I'm gonna ahead and, and gonna skip to step five step uh, skip to step five and it says unpack the archive I've done that already it's right here ready to go and six says create a directory where you want the service to run from recommended C program file Scarlet Crush Productions same as last video you're gonna go ahead and go to computer and you can have this anywhere you want to preferably he wants you to put it in C program files and create a new folder called Scarlet Crush Productions I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now Whoops. And uh, at the end, I'll just put PS3 driver files for, uh, you know, that way I know what the heck this folder it contains. For reference for me, the folder can be any name you want to, but I'm just going to put Scarlet Cross Productions uh, PS3 driver files. That way I know what's going on in that folder. So step six is done. Step seven says copy the contents of SCP server slash bin to the directory you created. So go ahead and open this bad boy up, the new folder you just opened, and then open the uh, file you extracted and updated and it's telling us let me get this over to the side here it says create a directory excuse me wrong one copy the contents of SC scp server slash bin to the directory you've created so go into bin select all of them 
or you can select one file and control A, copy it, and paste it into the new directory we just created. That completes step seven. Step eight, run scpdriver.exe. Now, uh, to be safe, go ahead and right click and run as administrator. And this little window pops up. And that's step eight. Uh, XP Vista, uh, check the force install option. I'm not on SP, XP or Vista, so I'm not going to click that. But if you do have any other uh, installation problems, I will go ahead and click that. But I'm not going to because it seems to work on me, work with me, so I'm not going to click it. Uh, Windows 7 or 8, leave it unchecked and click install. Uh, that's step 10. Uh, actually, I'm going to disable the Bluetooth driver because we're not going to use Bluetooth. Uh, I would do that too if you're not going to use Bluetooth drivers and just leave configure service checked. Uh, scrolling down to step 11 and 12. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me. Let's install it first. And let's let the program do its thing. I'm not going to cut the video here or anything. Just let it do its thing here. Might take a while, might take uh, two seconds. Just be patient and watch the log that's updating currently. Hopefully this goes through successfully because this is my first time doing mm -hmm. the new version and you heard that, uh, a little Windows notification knowing that uh, something was plugged in. I didn't do that. That was the program that was doing that. And it says install, install, install succeed, excuse me. Uh, SCP DS3 service, uh, the bus device, bus driver, and the DS3 USB driver. That completes step 10. Step 11 is that you, if you do not see the install summary as per screenshot and your dongle is there. Ugh. Okay, ignore that because we're not doing the Bluetooth, but we're just going to click on the picture and see if it corresponds. And it does. Um, everything looks good. The last four items, well, we unchecked the Bluetooth driver because I didn't need it and we're not going to use Bluetooth, but the first four things are there on my screen and on the picture that he's provided. He's running Windows 8, but it's okay. Same thing. And click exit. And that's about it. Um, in order to check to see if this is going, we're going to go to control panel and we're going to go to hardware sound, devices and printers. And we see uh, Xbox 360. Ugh, I'm just, I can't talk today. Xbox 360 controller for Windows and then the PlayStation R3 controller. Just like last video, we're going to go to the, the properties of the 360 controller. Go to hardware. Uh, oh, sorry, not properties. Game controller setting, excuse me. And it says controller Xbox 360 for Windows. Go to properties and start pushing buttons to see if it is working. And if you see buttons start to flash up like I do and you hear me pressing the buttons, then this. Uh, installation was a success. You now have a PS3 controller working with Windows 7. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And also um, hit Scarlet Crush up on the PCXX2 forms. Uh, thank you so much to Scarlet Crush for making this easy to use um, program to hook up your PS3 controller to Windows 7 and one last thing I'm going to tell you guys and you'll see a, the flashing light for the one you'll see the one flashing light here on your PS3 controller if you want to go ahead and disconnect that from your PC you can hold L1, R1 and the PS home button for two seconds and then you'll hear that notification and it's safe to unplug that way you won't turn on your PS3 controller excuse me turn on your PS3 accidentally when you unplug your uh, PS3 controller from your PC but if you have any questions please again leave them in the comment section below I know this video was kinda sloppy 
Uh, I just came back from running to the store, and I'm kind of in a hurry right now. But please, any questions, please let me know. It's Paint975, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, and Happy New Year. Thank you very much.